Welcome back. Let's take a look at our quiz problems relating to positions that occurred in games yesterday. Uh, so I made some mistakes because we were playing quickly, but now we have a time and chance to correct said mistakes. So what can we learn? So in this position, I played one of these two moves, moving the king up to 2-8, or silver takes pawn. Um, I played one of these, the other is the correct move. I happen to remember reviewing this game afterward, and uh, one theme that repeatedly came across is this position would be a whole lot safer if my king weren't right here, right next to the middle. So yeah, the correct answer is secure the king. And what actually happened in the game was I took here and things spiraled very quickly. So, yeah, don't, like, let the game get completely out of control. Show a little bit of self-restraint. That said, in order to try to apply that discipline, let's play 10-minute games today and see. Um, perhaps I can show some restraint and discipline and be rewarded for it. We'll find out, right? Good luck. Right. Wow, we've got a blitzer on our hands. That's a blitzer. Hmm. Impressive. Perhaps not for the right reasons, but still impressive. Alright, my king's safe. I should have dropped my bishop here, though. You can tell I'm just a little bit anxious, because... Yesterday, I didn't protect my king, and today I am. It's all safe, but, um... Yeah, if I paid slightly more attention, I could have seen this opportunity. Oh, they offer a bishop exchange. How generous. What if I refuse? What if I say, like, okay, how about this? We can exchange the bishops, but can I take a pawn or two or ten first? Why would I do this exchange? Alright, that's a pawn. Mm -hmm. That's a pawn. If I exchange bishops, their bishop becomes really active. That is quite concerning, so I probably don't want to exchange just yet. Let's go back. And then threaten to hit this knight. Oh, interesting. Um... All right. So this king is a bit exposed. At some point I might push this, drop a pawn here, or silver takes. This is a check that would hit a uh, king and a silver. That's the plan. All right, they bring up this gold to combat potential future ideas. One small problem with that, however. Um, stuff be hanging. All right, so... Um, hmm. All right, 
right, this bears a threat of dropping a knight here. Which is actually more threatening than it looks. Well, I can't take this gold, can I? Not with impunity. I'd fully intended to just take this. Um, however, there's some challenges with that. That, like, the rook's defending this. So... Okay. Eh, let's pursue this anyway. Of course the rook moves closer. But this allows me to fork the rook in gold later. Uh, so I'm hitting this gold and the silver. Um, oh my gosh. That's an extremely blind moment on my part. Um, Alright. Hey look. We get to play a completely new game now. Now that I just gave away a gold general for nothing. Because I forget which pieces move which ways. Now we get to play another game. Hooray. All right, let's see if we can win this game. Gosh darn it. That's what you get for not activating all of your pieces. Um, all right, fine. We'll move to push on this edge of the board. Get our pieces active one way or another. And this is hanging here. Just keep taking all the pawns. And then pin this gold to the rook. See if they'll drop another general down on the board. Alright, tactics finally prevail. Well, this is an experience. Um, I could take that. It's best that I not, however. Um, I have... Oh, I don't even have a knight in hand. I assumed I had this knight in hand, but I don't. It's plainly on the board. Um, alright, so we'll take a rook. Um, uh, thanks for the game. Okay, so that would have been much smoother if I'd activated my rook much, much earlier. Um, but that was exciting. That was a warm-up. Let's play another. Good luck. Right hand, fourth foul rook, it says. Well, we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. That is right hand, fourth foul rook strategy. We could have foreseen this. Alright. I protect my king. Interesting. Um, sure, why not? Okay. Uh... Something's supposed to happen at this point, I wonder. Hmm. Let's make another path for my bishop to escape in the event that I end up blocking it somehow. Wow. Okay, this opens wide this diagonal. Um,
Now I'm thinking bishop takes, silver takes, bishop drop, gold takes, rook takes, something interposes. Well, if the rook interposes, gold, uh, bishop drop here, king up, promote. Yeah, this looks interesting. Let's give this a shot, shall we? So this is attacked, and I'm threatening to promote over here. Uh, and the rook can protect both of these squares at once, so I'm an idiot. I only looked at this tactic one way. Um, now granted, I could take the silver. <sighs> Alright, this is kind of what I had anticipated. Um, very incorrectly so. Or very, I don't know, dangerously anticipated this. Um, yeah, that was not safe of me to assume we'd go this way. Um, okay, I'll take this knight. Threatens this rook. I can take the rook next. Um, I'll take this next. I'm a genius. Uh, maybe, Nana -fun. maybe not. Um, hmm, interesting. All right, let's exchange rooks. And then we'll take this rook over here. All right, thank you. I seem to have an advantage here. Let's see what's our next proverb. Drive the king to the back rank. Well, I think we've done that. Thanks for the game. Okay, we've got two games down. One to go. Let's take a look at game number three. Good luck. Oh, all right. Central file, best file. Um, oh, we seem to have reached some sort of symmetric position. Fine, I'll block my bishop. You've convinced me. Play a slower game. Get my king a little bit safer. Oh. Did I say safer? I did. Did I mean it? Maybe. Um. Alright. Well, we'll protect the king. Mm-hmm. Sure, let's open the center. This has never gone poorly. Alright, so. Yeah, go ahead. Chase my pawn.
Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead. You can have it. All right. So instead, we go this way, where my rook becomes active in this fun manner. And I keep arguing that, oh, my king's safe, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, the heck is that? Um, I mean, usually that's a good idea. Is it... A good idea here. Bishop up. They block here with the silver or something. Take that now. The sort of calculus is hard. Hmm. Actually, it's not that hard. If the bishops get exchanged here, then the rook takes, and they promote, and I don't promote. That's the math. That's the extent of it. Um, so the next question is, what can I do to make things exciting before they get to promote? Um, oh, wait a second. Okay, I re re kind of sort of remember how this works. So I take this. My knight gets up here. Um, they promote. I can also promote. They take my gold. I take here. We're both attacking. I guess I wonder, am I supposed to defend this gold or am I supposed to promote my rook? That I don't remember. Um, I think protecting my king is and my gold is important here. But promoting my rook is also <laughs> important. Mm. Everything's important. All right, we're gonna defend the rook, uh, the gold. Try to protect my king. I have ways I can approach their position. Uh, we'll see how it goes. What's our next proverb going to be? It's not going to be lol. It's going to be aim at the king's ears. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's offer this exchange. Mm -hmm. um, let's fight against this bishop a little bit. I guess they could attack my rook while I'm attacking their bishop. I didn't think about that. Probably should have thought about that. Hmm, if I push a pawn, they drop a pawn in front of my silver. That's fine. Alright, this is not safe at all. But let's pretend it is. Um, I'd like to trap a bishop. I'd like to win a king. I'd like to take all their pieces. The question is, in what order do we do all these things? Um, so yeah, this bishop might retreat and come all the way over here, I guess. Oh, or might not. Um, that is one way to use a rook. Um, okay, 
so we trap their bishop. And we'll see if they notice before or after my next move. <laughs> no Carolina teaching game time control today. I don't know what that... Oh. Are you talking about like a six-hour game or something like that? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh dear. I've lost my connection. Um, hopefully the connection comes back. Yeah. So, that's entirely on Twitch's end that this dropped. I have to manually upload the video to YouTube. Um, hmm. I guess this underscores my greatest fault in reading tactics. Um. Alright, that's not going to be confusing at all. Welcome. As far as I'm concerned, my stream was online the entire time and Twitch dropped it. But, um, that's okay. So, yeah, my silver is protecting the pawn from in front. Which, in general, is not, like, the greatest way to support your pieces. So... If they do silver take silver, this is great. But if they do pretty much anything else, this becomes a difficult position. Go um. Hmm. All right, fine. The vod broken too. Yep. Nothing I can do. This is the fragility of the interwebs. This is also why you save local recordings, so hopefully my hard drive does have space to hold this recording. We'll find out. Um, mm -hmm. All right, they're trying to win this pawn or something. Um, they're probably actually trying to aim at my king. Uh, but there's other things to aim at here. Or rather, I can aim at this gold. Aiming at this gold helps me aim at their king directly. So I'm going to say, forget the silver for now. Forget the bishop trap. Forget all of that. This is my highest priority attack at the moment. It dawns on me, they could actually attack my dragon. So maybe I shouldn't, like, blithely, ignorantly play throughout this. Anyway, this is the more secure shape. It just takes more time. Um, so now I can actually, like, win the bishop. Okay. So I guess what we're doing. Uh, either retreating this and getting in a lot of trouble... Or we're going to win the bishop. How much do I enjoy trouble? Um, hmm. uh, not particularly much. Yeah, let's just go win the bishop. All right. So yeah, aim at the king's ears was our latest proverb before the internet broke. Uh, in king's ear is this spot to the diagonal of the king. So that's where we should be aiming. 
Um, also, don't forget to use your horse. It's better on your side of the board than on your opponent's side of the board. So, that's the way to use it. As for whether that works here in particular, I'm not sure. Um, wow. All right. Well, that's a situation. I could take the silver, or I could aim at the king's ears. Which do we do? Let's take our proverb literally today and see where that takes us. That could be fun. I think they're going to try to block my horse. Never mind. All right. We have aimed at the king's ears. Hooray. Um, so, oh wait. Uh, night drop, silver takes. Might not be winning. Might be completely winning. Might be completely losing. I don't know. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Also, I could have won a dragon earlier. Probably need to take this horse. Yeah, fine. My own king is in too much danger. I can't just play them out around in my typical goofy style all the time. Yeah, taking the silver might have made a lot of sense too. But then we don't get content plays. Nifun. So we're aiming at the king's, well, beyond its ear, really. I don't know what you call that. We need new anatomical part names. Uh, maybe I should have aimed at this again. There's too many things to keep track of. Maybe also I should have dropped a pawn before like, dropping the lance. There's a proverb that says drop the lance all the way back, but here that doesn't make any sense. The proverb knows all. Yeah, the proverb doesn't say take the silver, right? <laughs> but no, uh, point taken. Taking the silver was... It kept the initiative. Oh, all right. They moved and uh, the sound didn't play. That's cool. All right. All right, king takes is probably... Well, if the king takes, I could drop another piece here. Um, they do that. Oh, hang on. I'm bad at really... I'm extremely bad at reading which pieces are hanging and which ones aren't. Wow. All right, so... We're going to try this anyway. Um... Maybe I should have dropped it here instead. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll see how this plays out.
Yep. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess content plays might not always be the best move. Can you imagine if there were players who always played the best move? Do you think, like, people would watch that? I wonder. I'm being somewhat facetious, but also it's a bit funny. Um, Alright, let's try this one. What was I going to do against that? It's this one, right? Or is it a pawn up here? No, this is what I was planning. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then this is what I'd plan next. Um... I think I'm doing okay. We have some time pressure shenanigans afoot here. Some really serious time pressure shenanigans are afoot. Um, I am trying to read a mate here. Like, if they move this gold over... I'm staring at everything and not finding a mate anywhere, but really trying. Um, gold over, silver drop, king takes, dragon takes, king over, uh, silver. Yeah, okay. Huh. All right. Uh, well, that's right. We've got time pressure to worry about. Oh my fuck. I don't have a golden hand. Uh, that's not great. Whatever. That's cool. Thanks for the game. Yeah, maybe I should have, like, retreated or something. Um, that's three games, right? Yeah, so that's enough for today. Pardon my internet drop, but yeah, we're making progress. Uh, we are still on the road to Wandan. The road that seemingly never ends. But yeah, we took a detour the other day, the other week. We made it up to 2Q in the 10 second category, so that's not terrible. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. We see how I manage time pressure, eh? Hope we enjoyed that. It wasn't a nice mate at all. No. I bungled that several times. But hey, we got there. We should still improve, though. We need to study. But we keep contributing other fun stuff that folks are able to use, so... You know, once we've helped everybody else first, then maybe I'll make progress on my own front. We'll find out. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.